Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. MDM, which stands for Mobile Device Management, is a profile management solution that allows selected organizations to centrally control assigned devices to set default settings, enforce security policies, and more. Since this could potentially lead to restricted access, you might not be comfortable with your device being controlled, so you plan to remove it. In this video, I will recommend two simple methods that you can follow to remove MDM from your iPhone. Let's go! The simplest way to remove MDM from your iPhone or iPad is to release the device from Apple Business Manager. Apple Business Manager is a web-based device management and monitoring portal that enables organizations to create a centralized environment for controlling their devices. Before you begin, please note that this particular method only works if your user account's role is either an administrator or a device enrollment manager. Otherwise, you can either ask your administrator to remove your device directly or skip to the second timestamp for your alternative. To remove a device from the Apple Business Manager, open your browser. Go to business.apple.com and sign in with your account. Once signed in, go to the device's configuration panel and look for the device you want to remove. Select the device from the list and click Release Device. Once released, the device is no longer registered with your organization and any MDM server assignments are removed as well. As an alternative, especially if you don't have the necessary administrator privileges, there are some third-party tools designed to bypass MDM on your device. You'll find the link to the software I like to use in the description box below. Before I discuss this more in detail, make sure to disable Find My on your iPhone or iPad to avoid conflicts later when restoring. To start, open Settings. Tap your name above and go to Find My. Switch off Find My iPhone and confirm your changes by entering your Apple ID password. Next, connect your device to your computer and see to it that you're using an original or MFI certified cable to ensure that data can be successfully transferred between the two devices. When prompted, click the trust button and enter your device passcode to confirm the connection. On the program's dashboard, select the Bypass MDM mode and choose between the two additional options available. Select Bypass MDM if your device is stuck in the remote management screen, but if your device is accessible and only has certain restrictions that limit your access, you can choose Remove MDM instead. After choosing the mode according to your device status, click Start and wait while the program bypasses or removes MDM from your device. As soon as it finishes, your iPhone or iPad will be automatically restored and you'll be able to access it without any restrictions. Don't worry, all of your data should be preserved as well. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.